Hi, uh, today I am working on these really interesting socks from Latvia that are woven with amber. And as you can see, the amber is literally woven right into the sock. So I've got the challenge of stitching these down with a museum mount. And I'm going to walk you over to the other side so I can show you what I'm doing. So here we go. Sorry. Okay. So with this, the problem is, is that they stretch a lot. And we roughly want two and a half inches on all sides with a little bit of a drop bottom. Um, the two and a half inches is actually a little less than what I wanted because the socks are stretching so much. And I did try to account for that uh, in my measurements originally, but sometimes you can't really predict how something is going to fall. And again, that's a problem with textiles or any type of uh, fabric material, even in cross stitches you want to be able to um, always kind of add that little extra for where it's going to stretch and where it's going to move. Something you also have to tell the customer about too, that it's approximately going to be two, two and a half inches. I mean, unless you do the stretch right before you order the frame or the stitching before the frame and then trim the side down, you're not going to get it perfectly, but um, good enough that I think that the customer would be happy. Um, the socks, some of the amber stones were a little loose, so I ended up tightening a couple. Um, and that's something I told the customer I was gonna do. Normally, if something is loose or there's a missing stitch or something along those lines, you make the customer do it in front of you and actually stitch it down for you. Uh, there is a, a school of ethics with framing versus restoration and conservation. Uh, framers literally just frame. Um, we need permission before we attempt anything for our customer, and that includes stitching down uh, loose beads and that type of stuff. So on the back, I mean it's a little random the stitching, but that's just because I'm tacking it where I need to. I don't know if you can really see the back, but it's going to be getting a really deep shadow box frame, and it's going to be in our CT108 which is actually a natural maple. You can see the spline work on it. It's going to be nice and deep. And I think it's going to be pretty stunning by the time it's finished. It's going to get museum glass as well. I, any kind of textile, I really like to put museum glass on because it's going to show every little detail of the fabric, um, and especially the stones. The stone work is beautiful, and it would be a shame to have a glare and not be able to see all those things that would be included. So I think um, I'm going to get back to my stitching, and I just wanted to let you know what I was up to today at 251A Street, and uh, hopefully gives you some ideas. You know, you don't normally know what's going to walk through the door, and this is definitely a unique item. So uh, thanks again. Bye.